Hi, I'm Richard, and in this Quick Start video, I'm going to show you how you can use K-Sketch to make things with multiple moving parts, like this man jumping off a cart and waving. I'm going to create a new animation with a man standing on a cart. First, let's make this man jump up and down because he's very excited to be on this cart. Now, if you want to make the cart move while the man is jumping up and down, all you have to do is roll back to the beginning, lasso the man and the cart, tap, and animate them both. See how the man was still jumping up and down? Whenever you select and move a group of things, K-Sketch will keep the existing motions. Okay, now let's make the wheels spin. K-Sketch will let you spin or resize part of a group, and it keeps all the group's motions. So I'll use the lasso to select a wheel here. You'll notice the handle is disabled. You can't adjust any motion because no motion has been applied to the wheel by itself. The first quick start video explains this. So you can't adjust the wheel yet, but you can roll back, tap, and perform a new spin motion. I'm going to do the other wheel now so you can see that again. Roll back, select the wheel, tap, and spin. And let's play so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so I've just shown you how you can perform a spin motion on part of a group. Resize works the same way as spin, but things are a little different if you move part of a group. I'll show you the difference by making the man jump off the cart. Tap on the man, go down here, tap, and move. You see, when I moved him, he stopped moving with the cart. He's no longer grouped with the cart. This is different from spinning and resizing, but it's really handy for animations like this one. Let's do one last thing before we stop. How can we get our man to wave his arm at us? We could select his arm and perform a spin motion but we need to move this center closer to his body. How do we do that? Well, if you press and hold the handle for half a second, you'll see this menu when you release your finger. The buttons on the left are for grouping and ungrouping, and this button on the right is for changing the center for spins and resizes. So, I'm going to press that and drag the handle so the center is on his body. Now I'll tap the handle and animate a wave. Hello! Let's play the whole thing. Great! Give it a try yourself and let us know what you think. You can find out more at ksketch.smu.edu.sg